Well, growing up in California, I started to kind of get into hockey, but I uh, want to follow my brother. He started playing outside of a AAA baseball team stadium, a little roller hockey league, which is really neat. I thought it was a unique way to start hockey. Ended up moving to Saskatchewan when I was 15 to play for the Notre Dame Hounds. Couldn't be more grateful with guys like, you know, like Braden Pym and Eric Filiu, you know, in the league, playing against them, playing with them. And then after that, I was lucky enough to go out to Vernon Vipers in the BCHL and to land a scholarship here at Merrimack College and couldn't be happier with the path I've chosen. It's different uh, styles of play, definitely, but uh, I'd say attention to detail, speed, and um, you know those are the two main ones that really stick out. And uh, the systems are a bit different. Um, so much easier to get time and space out in the BCHL, you know, in junior league, younger. And here you're just fighting for every inch, whether it's uh, get a passing lane, get a shot through, anything like gate line. So I think it's just a real eye opener to how much it go. Uh, intensifies each level you go up. Well, growing up, uh, family thought it was important uh, to get a really good education and, you know, always working hard to give their family everything they didn't and uh, it's one of the things, you know, not a lot of people in my family went to college. So, realizing college is a, you know, really big option in uh, hockey, you know, be able to obtain a scholarship while playing your sport, which is amazing. So. Um, that's the only path we want to take. You know, as a family, we've talked about it and sat down and I agreed rather than going major junior. So then Merrimack, you know, exposed some interest and I flew down here and saw an amazing campus. It's beautiful, um, tight-knit community. And I really felt at home there and it really felt like it was going to be a welcoming environment. Keep it in. Bigos with those long strides. Tease it up. Score! From the point! Bigos! Times one from inside the blue line, and Merrimack at 6.09 on the third takes a 3 the lead. Coach Danny is an amazing person, great coach, can't say enough about him, and uh, he really teaches you on the ice and off the ice. Uh, and one thing I really like that he stresses is the importance of school, importance of bettering yourself in other areas and growing in other areas rather than just hockey because that's our main job. That's you know nothing he needs to motivate us to do. And uh, so just growing as a whole person is amazing. And then the systems he has and the way he teaches you, the knowledge he has is something I'm very glad, you know, you know having him around as a head coach to help me grow as a player. Uh, definitely favorite team to play against. Gotta be probably BU. Same, you know, style of play. Really like to dump in. We're four checking teams, so very physical, very intense. It's always easy to get for those games. It's really fun to play. And probably favorite rink is uh, Maine, because not because they're so loud and they're so intense, just because when we score, you can really silence them. That's a really good feeling. Um, refs got a really hard job. They got a call like they see it, and. Uh, Big body again, going, up, uh, going up against some of the little other guys, it's going to be tough. I'm going to get penalties, I know that. So it really helps me uh, play with inside myself, stay inside the dots, not go run around looking for hits, and focus mainly on skating and developing and uh, trying to do my best not to get penalties. Braden Pym on uh, Northeastern here, uh, went back, we played at you know Notre Dame together and then we played in Vernon together as well. and. Uh, Eric Philly from Amherst, we're um, pretty close. You know, I got Shane Walsh, guys like that. So amazing guys. Glad you know we're in the same league, get to see each other and play against each other. Jokester of our team's definitely gotta be Nick Drew. Hard to describe, you know. But uh, if anyone's have met him, you really know that. He's a really funny guy. Best dress, definitely Thomas McCarthy. Always looking sharp, good jeans, nice pair of shoes. Always got the hair did. I think uh, we have a website called Her Campus. Um, you know, just a little easy, as they call it, you know. 
and he was the first ever campus cutie being featured, so definitely a great dress guy. Worst dressed? Uh, definitely Nick Drew. I think that plays in the you know, part of why he's so funny. Got a good variety of hats.